mali hiyo nguka imetopoka na iko shida na tuiko matunga mekigonu nyo ni omuta ngombe kuma ilambu ya ndi ya ni sai namba kauni ni kwa wunzo kaumala ni kingi kiasi kwamba no kukula alikuwa ndaka ndaka ditikuwa mtu cha leo kuwa esa ito iba ni kwamba this is mutiswa location mbitini ward in makueni county The Mutiswa residents have been experiencing floods that have deposited sand on people's homes and farms. Through these sand deposits, Mutiswa residents are at risk of losing what they treasure most. Si tunagopa tu kwenda na hii nini hii garis. Muna wako lani kwa atasia una likelekeza anga le gonde. Wana ndine Hii itaenda itakuwa hapo hapo hapo. Lakini maji yakikuja mingi itabaleka. Ndio tunataka ngambi onyewekwe maji yakuje kitoko. Isimame. While capturing the effects, we were not sure whether it was safe. On motion, our vehicle was stuck. But giving up was not an option. Dena wae dioji ya nila kwa ndi ya kuwa bai mundu ona ato ona imu ne maamu kanga na mundu e kalanza na ambio bangi ya gebe tiondo ki oto ya jindo ko matu nundo ki gwene choke ta nyumba wakati maji na nza eri ai ki cha to lalangi kuna toka inji to naka to kione na kuwa nyingi to napanda miti na watu wengine kama mimi zina miti migo yangu kila mtina migo migo yangu imeaibe this is only a taste for years they have been suffering some farmers have lost livestock nguka imetopoka na iko shida kwa sababu mbuzi zangu ikikula hapo ikiingia hapo imestoka when others are losing their land every single day reality or if i have a miunda over 10 10 acres 5 acres 3 acres 2 acres and used lands ita tume ita ita tume kwa the last 20 years ikalipwe kama moja imeenda ndio iba iba loko kila mwaka kwa kila mwaka mvua ikinyesha mwaka hii ile ingine inaenda ilianza tu kidogo ikaendelea ikaendelea mpaka ikawa rivers have been deposited with sand there are now roads not rivers anymore ona ona level ya mto and it's more than 3 meters deep na imejaa kichangarafu sasa una vile maji yame divert kidaivatia kwa this is how they get water for their livelihood in the year 2006 a plan was made to rescue them 06 a uh, governor wetu kibiza kibwana akiwa mp alikuja akatupatia ruhusa ya kuuza mchanga e, hii river inaitwa kwa ngesu unfortunately the residents were short changed by their community leaders before the makueni sand act of 2015 na akapatia kikundi ya hii area na wakauza hiyo mchanga lakini ile mpango ali, walikuwa wameambia MP watafanya kujenga shule na kufanya conservation haikufanyika I'll say that happened because we did not have an act that would guide how sand is being harvested and what happens to the process of this sand Therefore members of the community stopped the plan to buy time for a second liberation that would be free from favoritism and exploitation kama jamii ya hii area tukawa na tukawa na shida 
na tukasema hii mchanga wetu hatutaki ichukuliwe tena na tukakaa 06 mpaka 015 na kwa sababu ya ile mchanga walikuwa wametoa pale chini 06 nayo huko juu gari zikaanza kuwa kubwa so ikawa konzani kwetu na tukakaa chini 015 tukaongea tukaandika mabarua kwa kwa county government tukiwaambia waje watusaidie to save the community the county government of makueni led by its governor His Excellency Professor Kivutha Kibwana asked the Sand Authority to head and proceed with the salvation plan. Working with the county government and working with the national government administration, we have a series of meetings agreeing on the modalities uh, that should be used within the confines of the of the law that we have to make sure that the, the issue is being addressed. Don't we have a lot of money? Wedo mudanga wonu ende na ku minda meonda ne ne matiku makaya meonda Wedo ku na umundu na mbuya yoka kidanga dike musi ndako mabu na chao uzuti dena Wedo be palabala sina dena Wedo be na ndo ange meuke kana maloli ni kuma kuno na kuno na kuno isa musi ile sei sia tena ikaluka tuko at a solution ya win win After several meetings with the Mutiswa location residents and leaders, the Sand Authority prioritized emergency sand removal to open the filled river channels on the lower part and integrated catchment on the upper side. They're suffering because of the, the, the issue. Only their suffering is different. One is through flooding, the other one is through huge gullies being formed. But they all suffer. So as a Sand Authority, we are trying, trying to see how we can conserve the upstream by building water structures like sand dams gabions so that uh, the flow of the, the the water is slowed and if you slow the, the the flow of the water you also reduce the speed of depositing of uh, depositions in the river Mutiswa residents are in support and now they can smile this program we welcome it na tunaona itatusaidia sana So what the government has to say to do I think it is right Kwa hivyo nawaambia tafadhali waje kilikali zaidi hizi The process will take years Those funds are there The hills are also really eroded because they're bare So we set up a program where the community is able to do certain things on their farms so they to plant trees and then we also do repair and conservation and eventually probably also do hill top conservation The depositions have been deposited for quite a long time and we are hoping in the next three years we will be able to see the results of the activities we are doing now. A journey of a thousand miles starts with a single step.